Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. I'm Kristen Dubill with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for this Thursday, November 29th. A 74-year-old woman who shot and killed a burglar at her home will not face any charges. It happened last Saturday in Leavenworth. Today, the county attorney's office said they carefully reviewed the evidence and found the woman was in the right to use lethal force. In Kansas, a homeowner may use deadly force to prevent imminent death or great bodily harm. Efforts to recall Independence Councilman Tom Van Camp fell short. There was a petition drive, but the group behind it did not get the required amount of signatures. Now that group hopes Van Camp will choose not to run again. A 41 Action News investigation revealed the councilman spent thousands of taxpayer dollars on questionable trips, including one trip to Orlando. Van Camp has refused to comment on those trips. Today, family and friends gathered to remember a tragic event in our city's history. 30 years ago, six Kansas City firefighters died while battling a huge fire at a construction site near 87th and Blue River Road. Today, a special ceremony was held at that memorial. Three people convicted in that case remain in prison. Your forecast is next. Did you know? A realtor will help guide you through the home buying process from beginning to end. Visit KCRAR.com for more information or to find a registered realtor in your area. I'm meteorologist Gerard Jabaley. As we head into the weekend, we've got more unsettled weather coming our way. It will not arrive until tomorrow night, though. However, we are going to be looking at fog and black ice possible to start Friday morning as temperatures will fall overnight into the mid-20s. Now, we are talking about a pretty major disturbance coming back into the area here. This one will not have a snow component for us tomorrow, so that's the good news. It's going to be all rain. Temperatures only rising into around the 40s by tomorrow afternoon, but overnight continuing to warm up looking at some heavy rainfall likely and that will carry on into Saturday morning as well. Now as the system exits, we could be looking at a little bit of light snowfall moving into the area that wouldn't happen until late Sunday though and maybe even into early Monday morning in total. We're looking at a half an inch to an inch of rainfall, perhaps a light dusting if that from any snowfall that we might get. Remember, get all your latest news and weather updates anytime on KSHB.com. Cutting the cable cord? 41 Action News is now on Roku. Search KSHB, add our channel, and you're set. All of our newscasts stream live. No other station in Kansas City can say that. Get clear, complete coverage on 41 Action News now on Roku.